Good day. Here is the news at noon. First, the highlights. Lagos State Government empowers undergraduate through jobs initiative, Lagos. Committee on Local Government Autonomy Science Implementation Agreement. Under foreign sin, United States confirms breach of laws by Israel amid blockade of AIDS into Gaza. In sport, Uluwati Milei Doko emerges winner of youngest African Scrabble Championship. Now, the details. I am Taiwo Barua. Lagos State Governor Babaji Desonlu has reaffirmed his administration's commitment to leveraging artificial intelligence, entrepreneurship, and digital technologies for economic growth, development, and improved governance. The governor stated this at the closing ceremony of the Ministry of Tertiary Education Jobs Initiative Lagos JIL training program held in Ikeja. Governor Sonwulu, who was represented by Secretary to the State Government, Bimbola Salehonde, emphasized that JIL is more than just a training program, noting that it is a movement empowering students and youth to transform the economy. Commissioner for Tertiary Education, Tolani Suli, expressed delight at the program's achievement, saying it marks the culmination of a collective effort to empower youth with industry-recognized skills, entrepreneurial mindset, and innovative thinking. According to Sule, the entrepreneurial aspect of the training effectively breached the gap between academia and industry with testimonies from participants being encouraging and inspiring. Lagos State Government, through the Interministerial Committee on Social Protection Policy, has reiterated its commitment to empowering vulnerable groups and will embark on social protection, stakeholder sensitization, and advocacy program. Coordinating Director of the Social Protection Coordinating Department, Ministry of Economic Planning and Budget, Oluwakemi Adedeji, said the program tagged Ibile SP campaign will commence across the five divisions of the state from next week. Adedeji said the goal of the campaign is to increase public awareness about the state's social protection programs and raise awareness about the state's single social register. She explained that the Social Protection Coordinating Department has a unique reference number for each applicant as a means to checkmate multiple applications and ensure that these interventions are well known. In preparation for increased water transportation during the Yuletide, the National Inland Waterways Authority, NIWA, has commenced the clearance of water hyacinths from Lagos water channels. Lagos Area Manager of NIWA, Sarat Brahma, explained in the statement that the ongoing project will cover major Lagos channels with high boat traffic starting with the Omo Creeks and Ikorodu water channels. According to Braima, the Omo Creeks have already been cleared, while the Ikorodu channels will require at least a week of intensive clearing activities, including waste removal and disposal of invasive water plants. Niwa noted that the initiative aims to ease transportation activities and enhance safety for waterways users. Now to the rest of the stories. The Committee on Local Government Autonomy, set up by the federal government, has concluded its meetings and signed the technical document which is expected to be transmitted to President Bola Tinubu soon. National President of the Nig National Union of Local Government Employees, Hakim Ambali, made this known in an interview with newsman in Abuja. Ambali said it is expected that state will receive their allocations from the Federal Accounts Allocation Committee. Fact, as soon as the president received the document, he added that the committee worked within the time frame that was provided. The UNICEF Generation Unlimited Nigeria has made significant strides in empowering Nigerian youth, surpassing its initial target of 7.5 million young people 
in just three years. UNICEF's Nigeria representative Christian Mondwate reiterated the, agent, the urgency for continued investment in use, noting that the initiative has connected early 9 million young Nigerians to opportunities for skills development, digital learning, and livelihood pathways. Manduate said the future of any nation lies in the hands of its children and youth. Hence, the government, private sector, the civil society must further their support for young people ensuring they are prepared for meaningful contributions to Nigeria's development. Also, the chief executive officer of the Tony Elumelu Foundation, Somachi Chris Asoluka, highlighted the impact of youth entrepreneurship, saying young people are the engines of Africa's economic transformation. In foreign news, the United States says Israel has not breached American laws on blocking aid supplies after a 30-day deadline it gave Israel to boost humanitarian aid access in Gaza or risk having some military assistance cut off. Officials on Tuesday said Israel has taken a number of steps to address its demands to surge supplies into Gaza, but noted that more progress must be made. State Department spokesman Vendat Patel cited the opening of a new land crossing and deliveries resuming in the north, although he did not say any had entered the besieged Jabalia refugee camp. Despite U.S. claims, the U.N. has warned that the amount of humanitarian aid getting into Gaza is at its lowest level in a year, and this is likely to cause an imminent likelihood of famine in northern Gaza, where hardly any aid has entered in the past month. In sport now, a member of Team Ogun that represented Nigeria at the 2024 African Scrabble Championship in Kigali, Rwanda, Uluwati Milenyi Doko has made history as the youngest African Scrabble Championship winner. Doko and other Ogun State players in Rwanda recorded all inspiring performances with the young star emerging as the overall winner. He became the youngest at 24 to be the new bearer of the continent's premier showpiece title when his new status was confirmed after he defeated Momen Jimo, another Ogun State player, in round 31 to push its tally to an unassailable 24 wins. And that's it on the news at noon, but just before we go, do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X at Traffic Radio 961. Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Songulu administration supplied 86,000 dual furniture set to 775 public schools? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonulu has reaffirmed his administration's commitment to leveraging artificial intelligence, entrepreneurship, and digital technologies to be transmitted to President Bola Tinumbu soon. The Committee on Local Government Autonomy set up by the Federal Government has concluded its meetings and signed the technical document. We also told you that the United States says Israel has not breached American laws on blocking aid supplies after a 30-day deadline it gave Israel to boost humanitarian aid access in Gaza or risk having some military assistance cut off. Finally, in sport, a team of a member of Team Ogun that represented Nigeria at the 2024 African Scrabble Championship in Kigali, Rwanda, Uluwati Milani Doko has made history as the youngest 
African Scrabble Championship winner. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at traffic radio 961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adewalulu Poroku. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Up next is Lunchtime Waka with MCI and Temitope Boma. <laughs>